I really want to get back into this uh, Shakama or wisdom. Um, I was talking to Gerald about some stuff and uh, this came up and I told him, I said, I said, uh, yeah, you know, I covered this before, but just like I was talking to Virgil, I said, we know that people just need to hear things multiple times uh, in order for it to really um, sink in. Um, so I was telling him about the seven spirits uh, of the Most High and how those spirits were placed onto the Messiah. And my class, if you haven't seen it, it's on the channel, the tour group. And uh, that class, I definitely uh, believe that it was straight from the Most High, like a direct download. And I was uh, sharing with Gerald and uh, we end up, I was like, man, I ain't gonna go over it. Just look at the class. And then we end up getting into it a little bit. And he was like, man, we don't know anything. And because the more, you know, you dig deep and you start seeing these different revelations, it's like, we just been misguided for a long time. Uh, so I told him, I said, I'm gonna do a review on just the specific part about the spirits and um, the most high, just diligently uh, seeking him, he's gonna reveal himself to you and he's gonna reveal, you know, the knowledge and wisdom and understanding um, that, you, that you need or that you seek. So he's added, you know, basically from the very beginning, it was saying the same thing. It's just that the knowledge has been uh, withheld from us. So um, jumping back into it, we starting at uh, Revelations uh, chapter four and verse five. Uh, Marianne, could I get you to read for me, brother? Probably bounce around, but I don't know. You might be the one. <laughs> Um, check. Here we go. Got it. So Revelations chapter four, starting at verse five, from um, Nafsi Khan. And round about the throne, I'm sorry, that's four, verse four. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. There were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of Allah. Which are the seven spirits of the Most High. Go on. No, uh, uh, we're going to jump down to uh, verse 8. Relations chapter 4, verse 8. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Yah Allah Almighty, which was and is and is to come. When, when I did that class, um, we established that the Most High was the one who was and is and is to come. Verse 9. Verse 9. And when those beasts give glory, and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne who liveth forever and ever. The four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne saying, thou art worthy, O Yah, to receive glory and honor and power for thou hast created all things and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Uh, uh, go ahead and keep going. We're going to Revelation chapter 5 and read verse 1. Then we're going to drop down to verse 5. Revelation 5, sorry, in verse 1. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. Verse 5. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not. 
Behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. Yes, sir. Verse 6. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of Allah. So there, four. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Uh, there's a lamb around about the, in the midst of the elders as it had been slain. And this lamb has seven horns seven eyes which are the seven spirits of the most high sent forth into all the earth verse seven and he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne and when he had taken the book the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors which are the prayers of saints. Come on. You can stop right there. Uh, you can stop right there. Uh, it, it's all so good. It's all so good. It's all so good. But I don't want to get too far away uh, from the point. Uh, but uh, drop down for me uh, verse 12. Okay, we'll get his question. Go ahead. All right. Okay. Um, those four beasts, that, that's not the beast that Daniel was talking about, is it? No, that's not the four beasts that Daniel's talking about. Four beasts, that wasn't four beasts that Daniel was talking about. No, sir. That, the four beasts that Daniel is... Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you're good. It ain't no need to be embarrassed, man. It's just, it's, that's what class is about. Yeah, somebody else had the same question. Yeah, but uh, the four beasts of Daniel were talking about different uh, kingdoms that were reigning. This is just describing uh, what's going on in the uh, Shemayim, in the heavens around the throne. Uh, verse 12. Revelation chapter 5, starting verse 12. Saying with a loud voice, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor, and glory, and blessing. So again, we see uh, that lamb was slain to receive something, and he received power, riches, and wisdom, which is shakama, strength or might, honor, and glory, and blessing. Um, and just, just to, since we already hear um, if you if we read, if we just continue it out to 14 from there on, and it's gonna, it's it's a it's just a precept to show that there is no uh trinity, even though that's not the main point of this review, we already hear at this point. So just finish it out. Uh, verse 13. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth, and such as are in the sea. And all that are in them heard I saying, blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. A blessing, honor, glory, power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever. And then who did they uh, worship? Uh, verse 14. Verse 14. And the four beasts said, Amon. Mm. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever. They worship the one that lives forever and ever with me. That the most high. Um, not the one that came and died, but the one who lives forever and ever. Um, so I just wanted to touch on that as we close out. Um, go ahead, Mara. I just want to point out two things before you uh, move on. We always, it's multiple things in, in these verses, but when I read the, the description of the lamb, you give us beautiful flowy hair Jesus. 
But if you've seen the real lamb, you'll be scared. Mm. Lamb with seven eyes and seven crowns. I had a picture up there. Right. I was, I was going to ask you where you get that from. <laughs> so that, that would scare the average man. But you look at the sweet baby Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. That's A. And then, Marvion, can you, can you read that verse again? I want to see if y'all catch that, that verse 12, 13. Verse 13. Um, and every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them heard I saying blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the lamb forever and ever. The animals are talking. Mm -hmm. Then see what they say that those books we read are garbage, but the book of Adam and Eve said to Adam um, and uh, Jasher said the animals had speech mm -hmm. before the flood. Mm -hmm. But because of sin, the most high took their speech. Mm -hmm. But even all of you animals lovers, you know your dog understands you. Mm -hmm. your, your animals understand you. My dog is understanding stuff. So my wife's a hater, but these <laughs> 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 animals are talking. They're being restored. Not only are we going to be restored, the whole earth is going to be restored. Uh, all praises for great I am. All praises for that. All praises for that. Doctor Doolittle. Doctor Doolittle. I'm gonna come back to you, uh, Brother Marion. I'm gonna get Z uh, over here. Let um, me go to. Uh, we so we talking about the seven spirits of the Most High. Um, so we want to go to Isaiah chapter eleven. And uh, see what Isaiah was given from the Most High. Shammai, when you have it. Shemai. Read Isaiah chapter 11, verse 1. There shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots, and the Ruach, or the spirit of Yahweh, shall rest upon him. So the spirit of Yahweh shall rest upon him. Mm. Mm -hmm. The spirit of Shakama or of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of Yahweh, mm -hmm. and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of Yahweh. All praises. So again, we see these spirits that are represented by the menorah. It says, there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse and a branch shall grow out of his roots. He is divine and we are the branch. And the spirit of Yahweh shall rest upon him and the spirit of Shachamah. So again, when we saw in Proverbs 8, and we saw in uh, the Apocrypha when it says wisdom and it uses she, her. We learned that the ancient um, paleo pictograph Hebrew, there is no um, characterization as far as female, she, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it, it prompted me when I read the characteristics of wisdom. I said, this sounds like Hamashia, and we did a whole class about it. And um, as it kept going, I was understanding how the spirit of the most high works. And I always describe it, it's like, almost like Zordon from the Power Rangers, or like it's a central hub of power. And then that power is distributed how the most high sees fit. So if he needs to distribute his almighty power so you can heal someone, he'll do that. The spirit of Yah rested upon Yahweh Shai. He can heal someone. He could bring someone back to life. The spirit of wisdom, the most high would place that spirit of wisdom upon someone so that he can give a word to the people or that he can break down a matter. The most high brings the spirit of understanding. Shamar, Shamar Yah, Samuel, the spirit of understanding, counsel, the spirit of might, the spirit of might, the spirit of might will rest upon the wad that he may be able to kill a lion, to be able to kill a giant, to be able to lead the people.
the spirit of might to come upon Samson that he may be able to kill an uncircumcised Philistine. The spirit of knowledge, which he's placing on all of us, and the spirit of respect or the spirit of fear, uh, reverence for the Most High that he is uh, placing on us that we may keep his commandments. Uh, Mariah has a comment. Go ahead. Sorry. I'm sorry. What am I I just want to always give uh, praise to the to the only begotten Son, because people get confused when we say we don't worship Him, but we do honor Him as the only begotten Son, as um, our Lamb, our Redeemer. So the KJV says, uh, "Quick, He should have learning quick." Uh, somewhere in the KJV, uh, verse two, uh, make him a quick, and He shall make him a quick understanding. A quick understanding. So it's not in the Septuagint. That's what I was reading. Uh, it's not in the Septuagint, but but to me, that's true because we got the letters from the apostles where he was sitting in the temple with the doctors at 12 years old. And it was wondering, like, how's this little boy got understanding at such a young age? And even as an adult, we can take it to adulthood, the Pharisees are like, you're barely 50 years old. How would you know about Abraham? Uh -huh. So again, to, to all these to all these lost brothers who say Yahweh Shai is not our Messiah, find me your character who fits these seven spirits. And we got witnesses testifying on his behalf that he was acting in this function. So all praise to the great I am. All praises, all praises. Um, let me see what I, what I got next. Okay. So um, this question comes around a lot about how the spirit operates, and I'm still I'm still learning. We all still learning. Um, but what I just described on how there's a central hub of power, which is the Most High. The Most High distributes that power how He see fit. Um, so we have the spirit with us and on us right now, but there is levels to this is what we would say, but there's levels. The most high can place a spirit on me to where I can touch someone and heal them. Or the most high could just place upon me like, like last night, I prayed, father, give me the strength and place, like, let your words flow through me so I could put a class together. And I'm wide awake we think that's a small thing but i was able to recognize i said oh most how you doing it <laughs> you doing it and I, i'm really happy i'm really i feel it i feel it because i'm telling you i'm like i i told him in the parking lot i only had two slides i said i'm gonna be up most high it was nothing for the most high you know he he did it um so in the new testament He's talking about the same thing. It's 1 Corinthians chapter 12, because Nariah texted me, and he said, I'm listening to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. This sounds like Shakamad. Did you have this in your class? I said, I did. I did. It's just that we forget, or we just need a review. So between that was two witnesses that we should review, because Nariah and um, Gerald. So um, we'll go to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And uh, I guess I'll try to take that one. Let's see. And most of the key uh, points are on the slide. Let's see here. All right. So uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant Ye know that you were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as you were led. Wherefore, I give you to understand that no man speaking by the spirit of Allah Hayyam calleth Yahweh Shai a curse, and that no man can say that Yahweh Shai is Adonai, but by the Holy Rawah. So that precept right there uh, for my brother Zamaria. Uh, for the people who don't believe in the Messiah, they don't have the spirit. They don't have the spirit. Um, it says you can only call Yahweh Shai Adonai Yah, master or judge, but by the Holy Spirit. Right? 
Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. There are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. The same spirit. One central hub. Zordon. <laughs> I know my generation would get it, but um, and there are differences of administrations, functions. Shamaria has a function, Zamaria has a function, Marian function, Abijah a function. That's why we take those, those names uh serious. Nahamya, Naraya. Um, but it is the same Alahayim which worketh in all. I'm so, and, it, it, and I'm sorry, I, I skipped too far. But it's the same uh, master. And then verse six says there are diversities of operations again, functions. But it's the same Alahayim with which worketh in all. So the same spirit that's working in me to help me decipher conversations. Uh, to have understanding, to have wisdom, to be able to bring forth a word, because that's what Samuel was for. He was the one that, Samuel, who is that? You call me? Nah, that, nah, go, go lay back down. And then he brought forth, forth the word eventually to the nation. Um, and the Most High is using me to bring forth a word to the people of the nation, as we are all first fruits of this resurrection of the nation. But the same spirit that the Most High is using within me is the same spirit that had Abijah become a servant, that we had Zamaria become the weapon, the instrument of music. So it's one spirit, Holy Spirit, set apart spirit, all those things that we call, that is the most high. It's not a separate individual that creates Father, Son, and Holy Spirit like we've been taught. So now you got three instead of one, and then his son is one spirit. Verse uh, seven, but the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man to profit with all. So the manifestation of the spirit will come by what you may need. Mm -hmm. come on now. A mother need to lift this car up because her, her child, exactly. So the father said, oh, she need a little bit of the spirit of might. Come on now. Oof. And now she. <laughs> or, or she thinks she's lifting it up because she is a servant of Yah. Angels come right beside her. Right beside. She don't see. Can't even see. Come on, y'all. I, I want to put it. I see my mind, but I, I call that Naraya would get this, but uh, that Naruto is an anime, and one of the characters he has this. He call it the Sasano, and it's this invisible, like power that's behind him, and when he activates it. They try to hit him. That spirit is blocking everything. That spirit also has a sword and a weapon and a bow. Wow. And I'm like, see, we, and I always was saying, oh, we have the Susanna. So, like, you almost got in a car accident. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell Naraya, I said, oh, the Susanna. The, and the Malachim just, just got that out of the way for us. But they show us these things in these Eastern cultures, the Japanese animes and stuff, because that's where we come from, that side of the... Right. The, the world. Um, so verse eight, for to one is given the spirit, the word of wisdom, to another, the word of knowledge by the same spirit, to another, faith, amana, by the same spirit, to another, the gifts of healing, the gifts of healing by the same spirit. That's exactly what I've been saying. And it's just all praise to the most high that it's right here in the text that we can read plainly, clearly. Verse 10, to another work in miracles. So a lot of people ask, why we ain't healing today like they did back then? The most high is going to choose his time 
when he wants someone to be able to do that. All praise, all praise for that, uh, Brother Mariana. But it's, I mean, and I've read it, it's in my class, and it's hitting me. It's, it's hitting me like it's telling you right here, this is the answer to why, like, one person can do one thing and one person can't do another, but it doesn't mean that we don't all have the spirit with us already. So to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another different kinds of languages, to another the interpretation of languages, but all these work of, but all these work of that one, 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 not three, and the self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he will for the con for the body is one but have many members arms legs feet etc and all the members of that one body being as many are one but one body so also is hamashiach for by one spirit one, are we all immersed into one body, whether we be Israelite Jews or Northern Kingdom Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, slaves or free men, and have been all made to drink into one Rawak, the Father, the Father. And uh, we can we can go on, but I mean, this is a review. So this whole class, Mara actually was digging and diving into the channel, and it's 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 well put together. The playlist is there. It's uh four different videos, um, so you can go on there and um, get that breakdown of Shakama wisdom being a role of the Messiah and the Most High placing those spirits on his his chosen um, and diverse in his spirits where he may please. So now I want to just add on and just make this thing even more plain. I want to go back. You you got your uh your Enoch. You got your Enoch? Oh you don't? I got one back here. If you got it on your phone, So we're going to go to um, Enoch, an uh, ancient text found in the Dead Sea Scrolls. Um, and we're going to go to Enoch chapter 49. I do have like the key verse will pop up on the screen. It's not a long chapter, so we're going to read the whole, whole chapter. It's real short. Uh, as we know, the chapter breaks are not natural. So... Uh, uh, go ahead, uh, Zamari Yashimai, because I know a lot of people don't have that. The wisdom is poured out like water. Go ahead. Uh, Enoch chapter 49. For wisdom is poured out like water, and glory fails not before him forevermore. For he is mighty in all the secrets of righteousness and unrighteousness will appear as a shadow and have no continuance. Because the, because the elect one stands before Yahweh or the Adonai of spirits and his glory is forever and ever and his might unto all generations. And in him... Hold on. So, so there's an elect one standing before the most high go ahead verse three and in him dwells the spirit of wisdom and in him this elect one that's standing before the most high of spirits the master of spirits the one who controls all the spirits there's an elect one 
That elect one is Yahweh Shai. Oh, no. The elect ones, plural, is Yashar Alam. So the elect one is standing in front of the Most High, and in him dwells the spirit of wisdom. And in him dwells the spirit of Shakamah, or wisdom, and the spirit which gives insight, and the spirit of understanding, and of might, and the spirit of those who have fallen asleep in righteousness. Connor. So I was reading this Enoch this week, and I'm like, I ain't have that in the class. And it's right here. This is ancient. This is this is one of the oldest yeah. writings that we have. He's saying the same thing that Isaiah is saying. This is actually, uh, he's the first right. He's the first one to write. First writer. First writing. First writing. And he's saying there's an elect one that stands before the throne or before the master of all spirits and in him dwells the spirit of Shakamah. But they telling us wisdom is a woman. Mm -hmm. Mm. wisdom is a woman so uh mark that one down is enoch chapter 49 the whole chapter this on the screen and that he read is is the rh charles rh charles uh version um you know all the versions have some type of contamination some type of you know but that's that's the version that's on the screen there so we're going to go also to enoch chapter 51 and this is the last slide uh, for Shakama. This is the additions to Shakama or Shakama continued. So uh, Enoch chapter 51. Uh, you can let them know how it starts real quick, just in case they're trying to find and in it. Those, and in those days will the earth. It says, and, and in those days will the earth. So it might be 50, 51. Okay, for him it's 50. Um, so uh, go ahead. Uh, Enoch chapter 51. And in those days will the earth also give back that which has been entrusted to it. And Sheol also will give back that which, has, which it has received. And hell will give back that which it owes. But in those days, the elect one will arise. The elect one. Who's the elect one? Yeah. Con, you just said it with Mike. <laughs> the elect one is Yahweh Shah. Who's the elect ones? Yahshua. Con, go ahead. And he will choose the righteous and holy from among them. For the day has drawn nigh that they should be saved. And the elect one will in those days sit on my throne. Mm -hmm. And his mouth will pour out all the secrets of wisdom and counsel. And his, and his mouth will pour out all the secrets of wisdom and counsel. Uh, go ahead. For Yahweh of spirits, or the Adonai of spirits, has given them to him and has glorified him. Whoa. For the master of spirits, or the 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 Adonai, the, the the ruler, judge of all spirits, has given them to him all the spirits and glorified him. So how can he and his father be the same? And I I got more on that, but that's not what the class is about. But uh that right there solidifies right there. The most high, the master of spirits, took those spirits and put those spirits in his son. Oh, no. mm. Mm. Does that make sense? Uh, uh, comment online. Yeah, the water. Um, yeah, man, like, man, it's firing me up because uh, since you even brought it up last week, and we talked about it briefly before you went into it in depth. And um, you know, just just the springboard of once you once you brought that to my attention, how you know we we overread this stuff all the time, but we don't catch it. How those spirits of the most high 
all of those seven spirits, how, you know, we all had the same spirit. We made the reference early, how we talked about how a woman can lift up a car. You know, we humanized it, but really and truly, I think it's, when we think about it, it's the same spirit that Yahweh Shai had when he was on earth doing what he was doing. So even if we compare it to, compare it to him, because that's when the most power, you know, kind of when it affects me the most. He said, y'all will be able to do more greater works than I did, you know? So, so that's saying just because all of them at the same time is not embodied in us at one time, I think we kind of missed the point, you know? But the fact that the matter is, you know, hence in situations where we're weak or our back is against the wall, that's why we have to pray for these spirits, you know, because as imperfect people, we ain't going to live up to the test. We're going to fall, you know, but if we pray for that spirit and we pray for those, those spirits in that direction, in that moment, we going to be able to do things beyond what's normal. Like the scriptures tell us to, it's all there. It all ties in. You know, when you think of, man, it's this thing crazy. Man. <laughs> this thing is wild. This thing is amazing, man. I'm glad you brought this out because um, it just all makes sense, man. It, it just makes sense. And it's just making me realize how, um, man, like why you how a shot, like, like why he's called. See, the, the game wasn't rigged. And I'm just going to say this and I'm going to wrap it up because I don't want to go too far. The game wasn't rigged when Adam was on the earth, when he was created the way he was. He was still able to fall. Christ wasn't rigged. He's the second Adam. He wasn't rigged in no way. He had all the seven spirits of the most high, but Christ could have went on his own initiative. He could have failed. That's why he was being tested. That's why they tried to test him. He could have failed, but he didn't. He showed us how to live accordingly to the spirit by allowing those spirits to work through us properly. So you see how Peter and then was able to utilize it at different times, but we was able to heal, but we couldn't heal everybody. Or, or, or he's able to do all these great things, but yet, you lose faith and you sink or yet when the pressure is on you reject the sun because the pressure of people like but in those moments if we tap into the spirit we become just as powerful as christ man let me yield all praises all praises um yeah definitely that's that's well said i mean uh i appreciate your excitement because it's worthy man it's, it's worthy of it that when you realize that's what he's coming to let us know that we were supposed to do or we should be able to do and some of us will be able to do because we have the faith that we can or that we will so um you, you're right on time and your your feeling is is right there it, it is exciting because uh, now you know you 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 have the you have the ability you just that's why it's so important how i how i'm thinking that's why it's so important to be set apart to cleanse your vessel to be spotless so that the most high would be willing to use you. That's, that's how I see myself. So that's why, you know, I've been taking steps every uh, year, every day in this truth to continue to set myself apart from those who are not walking in the faith, whether it's long-term friends, family, etc. not even because it has anything to do with them, but I want to see, how the most high wants to interact with me like it might be something that he wants to elevate me in but if i'm still around the wrong people that's every day draining from your spirit a little bit like or you don't know what type of sins they may be in so the most high might not be able to operate in your life the way that he wants to so get your vessel clean cleanse your vessel be righteous so that way, the most high can say, boom, I'm going to give him the spirit so he can touch this woman and she can be healed. She, he can touch this man and he can walk again, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's been my mindset. Uh, go ahead, Mora. Now I see how, while you were saying, all the, the, the DCD, the strong Christian dogma, me saying that these Bibles ain't going to get us back home. This class right here, the perfect example, the seven spirits, all of us somewhere and he put the spirit of um, organization on, on my wife and, and put the spirit of planning on someone else. We all are coming together like Voltron, mm -hmm. like, like the, the Spendables movies. Mm -hmm. Each one of us can, can get the spirit 
based on, on our past history of what we showed him, mm -hmm. okay, she can handle this, he can handle this. And that's what we're gonna need. And I'm so glad how you opened up with the, the bank's about to fall. And then my wife whispered to me, she says, so even though we got money in the house, it's gonna be useless. Mm -hmm. This is when we're gonna need the seven spirits, go to this house, go to this water fountain, go to this river, do this to the water, mm -hmm. or just don't worry, go to sleep, wake up. It's deer in your backyard. Mm -hmm. This is so on time. All mm -hmm. places on Sayah.